on Monday, June 27, 2022, at 12.30 in the morning, Akron police officers attempted to stop a silver Buick on East Talmadge Avenue near Thayer Street. Officers informed dispatch that the reason for the stop was for a traffic violation as well as an equipment violation. The driver of the vehicle refused to stop and officers initiated a vehicle pursuit as the vehicle was nearing the East Talmadge Avenue entrance ramp to Route 8 southbound. Approximately 40 seconds after the driver of the vehicle fled from the attempted stop, a sound consistent with a gunshot can be heard on the body-worn cameras of the officers. Officers notified dispatch that a shot came out of the suspect's car door. Getting on to 8 South of Talmadge, the reason for stop is traffic and equipment violation. shots fired that vehicle just had a shot come out of its door. At the time of the sound, a flash of light can be seen along the driver's side of the suspect vehicle. The vehicle pursuit continued on the expressway for several minutes and the suspect vehicle exited onto the Archwood Avenue ramp. The pursuit proceeded through several city streets until he neared the intersection of East Wilbeth Road and Claremont Street. At that point, the driver slowed down and exited through the passenger side door of the moving vehicle wearing a ski mask. The suspect fled from the vehicle on foot, turning and facing officers momentarily. He continued to run, evading arrest. Officers attempted to safely take the suspect into custody by deploying their tasers. The deployment of tasers was unsuccessful and the suspect continued to flee on foot. As the foot chase reached the nearby parking lot, the suspect stopped and quickly turned towards the pursuing officers. Officers reacted by discharging their firearms, striking the suspect. Under visual inspection of the suspect's vehicle, a handgun, a loaded magazine for a handgun, and what appears to be a gold wedding ring were observed in plain view on the driver's seat. Body-worn cameras do not provide a 360-degree or three-dimensional view. We will now play 13 body-worn camera videos. Six oh two on Westbound Wilbeth Firestone. Can I get in? Still Westbound Wilbeth. We're passing Evergreen. Heading towards me. Looks like we have some units up ahead at the intersection of Main. He's slowing down here, slowing down. Stop. Is there a fucking hand? Is there a fucking hand? Don't you fucking move the car? You fucking move! Don't fucking move! Don't fucking move! Show me your hands! Show me your fucking hands!
Still westbound on westbound on Wilbeth and passing Glen Mount. Speeds are 55 miles per hour. I'm west on well with some firestone. Can I get in? We're still westbound on Wilbit. We're passing Evergreen. We're heading towards Maine. Looks like we have some units up ahead at the intersection of Maine. He's slowing down here, slowing down. Officers involved in this incident have between one and a half and six years of experience with the Akron Police Department. 
per department policy, all of the officers were immediately placed on paid administrative leave. At the request of the Akron Police Department, the investigation will be conducted by the Ohio Bureau of Criminal Investigation. At the completion of the investigation, the case will be turned over to the Ohio Attorney General's Office for a review before being presented to the Summit County Grand Jury. A separate internal investigation will be conducted by the Akron Police Office of Professional Standards and Accountability. The results of the internal investigation will be submitted to the Chief of Police and the City of Akron Police Auditor for review.